Caddis Max was here this time with a neat little item. Uh, these are a tool that's still common, mainly in machine shops, surprisingly enough. These are surface roughness scales, sometimes called gauges, and they're just a real simple tool. These are actually even stamped. You can just see how dull it is on the back side, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's a kind of a funny looking mold. Just for you to determine how uh, rough something really is. And this is in micro inches. That means millionths of an inch. This will be 2,000 millionths of an inch in this really coarse section. Or two thousandths of an inch. And it's just surprising what two thousandths of an inch really is. It's pretty pretty darn rough. This is from Gen this set is from General Electric, who you'd you know, if you're only familiar with the consumer products, General Electric has long been involved in everything from motor manufacturing, power generation, jet engines, etc. Uh, all for a long time. So they have a variety of industrial products where something like this might be applicable to. It's just interesting to see basically machine shop tools made by General Electric. This must have been from when uh, they actually brought good things to life. You know, at one point, I think 40 or 50 years ago, they were the world's largest corporation. It was uh, surprising how far things have come. Anyway, that's all surface roughness gauges are for. They're for metalworking. These wouldn't really be as useful for woodworking because it'd be hard to tell the texturing. But that's all they do is they just have some uh, basic texturing just for you to tell, okay, is that surface smooth enough or do we have to finish on it? And it just goes down segments, two thousand, you know, two thousandths of an inch, one thousandths of an inch. This is a half thousandth of an inch. This would be kind of akin to a saw cut here. Um, and then we go down to a quarter thousandth of an inch. And... That might be called two and a half ten thousandths of an inch if you want to do it that way. This kind of finish here, that's two and a half ten thousandths. Uh, this type of finish you might get from an abrasive cutoff saw, cutoff wheels, and of course sanding. And that's why they give you just a variety of those different textures, like this circular texture, which is indicative of a grinding operation. And then you get down to much finer surfaces. This is. A really good grinder saw cut a uh, uh, one eighth of a thousandth or 125 micro inches down to 63. This is when you're getting the surfaces. They're actually starting to get pretty darn smooth. It's surprising. The deviations between the highs and lows can only be 63 millionths of an inch for it to really start to be smooth. And something like you might consider a, a polished or a sanded finish would only be 32 million. So you can see how smooth this is getting. Then it goes down to 16, which basically looks like a polished surface. that's a little bit dull. Eight, same thing. And then four is, would be considered a polished surface. A four is what the whole gauge essentially is finished to, except for on the backside. The backside might be considered maybe 32 micro inches finish. A little bit of corrosion on these, but I assume they are stainless steel because the corrosion is green i don't see any kind of red rust but just wanted to do a little uh talk about surface roughness gauges how they are kind of neat uh if you are doing you know work where you're using cutoff wheels or grinders you can say oh that's you know way too rough with the grinding wheel i'm about to put on a sanding disc and they're just kind of neat because they're these odd gauges with all these different textures on them anyway just wanted to uh, bring a little video about them I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.